Hey y'all, don't touch that mouse or that screen phone. You're watching Spread Those Mouse. Ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages, the Captain Cajun with the pop top over here. Right. Stepped on a flip flop blue. I was pop top. Remember Joe Dolphin <laughs> said, "Welcome back, to Spread Those Wings, episode 172." We are back. Glad you keep track of it because I have no idea. Well, I'm going with that every week, so we are back live from the Tiki Bar Resorts and Casino. Yeah. <laughs> um, this week going to a place we tried to go to a little bit earlier this year. Yeah. Uh, Scoob's Village Grill out of Lancaster. If they're good, they do 79 cent wings on Wednesdays. Um. A lot of flavors on the menu. Broken into two episodes, so this week and next week we'll be there, so 173 as well. I am the Buffalo View, Kyle Rainey. To my immediate right, that is the driver of Daddy, Gary Halt. No medium wing mommy this week. No, yeah, no. To the far right, the Captain Cajun Ryan Pizner. Hello. Anything you guys want to say before we, uh... I'm starting. Yeah, no, I'm with you on that. <laughs> I hear you. This is going to be like my first thing. Uh, we're going to start with some meaty wings here. Yeah, as always. So it's not like I said, we're going to start with some meaty wings here. We're going to start with some meaty wings. Oh, there's a big one. Big honk and fuck. There's a lot of sauce on the bottom here. The blue cheese has a very strong consistency here. You said they actually had uh, different kinds, right? Yeah, it says it's Lucy's blue cheese. Good little cheese. It's a nice, beautiful day. Everyone's selling their garages. Yeah. A lot of garages uh, for sale out there. I right, got another one, I think, here. A little scared of that last one. It disintegrated. The menu is kind of confusing for the wings when you look at it. I will say that. It has like different types of flavors. Yeah. Um, or like five different pictures. It's, it was confusing. So I realized after we ordered, there was a third special yeah. that was under the regular wings. The I'm regular wings. Man. There's like regular, then there's like everything, and then there's another picture for like some that are breaded. Re well, the breaded were, were actually chicken fingers. Uh, so and then there were um, wingdings, which are just boneless wings. Nah, but yeah, regular, specialty, Jesse's everything, Scoob's lovin' or Scoob's lovin' Don't Fear the Reaper. So... This episode we have medium, we have one of the specialties in the uh, spicy chipotle, and we have one of their, their other specialties in the Jesse's everything. Um, so, we already alluded, they have specialty blue cheese, for a good reason, that's a really good blue cheese. Yeah, delicious. I would say um, chunkier though, that's my only complaint. I'm okay with it because the flavor is really good. Crisp, I'm going to go eight. We drove four, 30 minutes to get here. Uh, it's still a pretty, pretty good crisp with it. No. Um, amount of meat, I'll go 7.5, like, a little alarming, that first wing was a little black on the inside, uh, destroyed, but it's not bad. Amount of sauce, I'm going to go 7.5 as well. I would have liked a little more. There's a lot on the bottom, but it doesn't really hold well. Flavor, I'm going to go 8, it's a very average medium. Not bad, not good, the blue cheese makes it a lot better than it is. Yeah. Um, it was 105 for 50 wings, so it's just over... Technically, it was 90, 99, so it's two bucks away, um, which is wild. They're running 49 cent wing Wednesdays with that. Uh, I'm gonna go with six though on the price. That's normal. that's expensive. that's a 74 for me. Um, so this wing was kind of a snooze fest. Uh, I didn't hate it by any means, but it just there's nothing that really popped out to me. Um, crisp, I'll go with a 7.5 uh, for the ride. Not too bad on the crisp. The meat, I will go with an eight. I think I had a decent sized drum there, so not too bad. Sauce, I will go with a seven. Uh, wish there was a little bit more. Didn't soak well that much of the wing. It was kind of dry on the inside. Flavor, six. Um, there's no real distinct medium wing taste. It's just like 
very bland. A lot of butter and a little yeah, spice. Um, and then six on the price because that's a lot of money for wings. Well, hey, and the usually, drink usually we wouldn't celebrate it, but it's a 69. 69. Nice. nice. We haven't had one of those in a while. All right. Don't Joe Liam. OG Joe Liam. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the OG Joe Liam. And you people. Yeah. Captain <laughs> Cajun. The crisp, I'll go an ace. That, that was fine. Those, that one seemed crispy enough. The um, amount of meat, that I'm actually going to go 8.5. That was a pretty good sized drum. Um, the amount of sauce, I'm going to go a 7. It was more oily than I would have I would have liked. I'm trying to get like it to cover the sauce, or cover the wing better. The price, you got to do something with the, sorry, the flavor rather. The flavor, you gotta you gotta do something to spice these up, as opposed to just like, hey, here's hot sauce, hey, here's Frank's, here's some butter. It's just, it, I, I'm trying to get more of a kick. I'll go like a six five for the uh, for the flavor, and uh, six five for the price. Because anytime you give it two dollars for a wing, that, that's expensive. Seventy three for you. Uh, there's some good news and bad news out of this. The the good news is by far that was the less saucy of every wing we've seen so far. Sure. We looked at all six of these before we, we started this venture. That is the most plain looking of all of them. That's good. Bad news is the flavor didn't really pop, and we have five wings next that are all supposed to be uh. flavorful. Uh, but let's get to what might be the most flavorful of all of these. We only got five of these because I'm not sure how we're going to feel about these. The everything. Sure. That uh, char makes me a little nervous. Yeah, but I think it's only on a couple of them. That one looks a little bit too charred, so I'm going to try to go with this one. I don't think I'm going to blue cheese this like one. Minimal one. You know, like a minimal chair. Yeah, I also did. But Gary's not going to break appearances. Wow. I don't know what I'm getting off that. I like a lot of little blue cheese. Good job. Hmm. Oh, fuck. I can't pull out a distinct flavor. No, but it's really good, and the blue cheese finishes it phenomenally. I didn't do it with blue cheese because I got too much char on the one side. Definitely a very different flavor. Yeah. It's got some sort of barbecue in it. The Carolina Gold. There's definitely yeah. There's Carolina Gold in that. There's definitely Chipotle. I yeah. 100% taste the Chipotle. So did he literally just mix every single thing that there is on that sauce bucket together? And if so, you got to give him some form of credit because yeah. nothing overpowered anything else. It tastes like his own individual I sauce. Think, I think you could probably not char that. Oh. Tell us about it. Um, I think these are a little bit overcharred, at least the drums were. Um, I had to flip it over just to get some flavor. Any Anywhere I had char, it was too much charred. Um, that being said, that's the only thing I don't like about the wing. Uh, crisp, I'm going to go with an 8. I think it's crispy enough. I think if you just make these like a normal wing and sauce them, they'll be fine. Um, meat, I'll go with an 8. I had a nice drum. It's about the same size as the other one. Sauce, I'm going to go with a 9. I like the amount of sauce on there. There's a ton of sauce. Um, complete opposite, I think. Like. Yeah, complete yes. opposite. Uh, and then flavor, I will go with an 8.5 because it's tough to really get a distinct, like there's... No good di diagnostic. Yeah, yeah <laughs> diagnostic. Uh, but it's good. It's got some kick to it, got some heat to it. I enjoy it. And I'm still going to go with 6 on the flavor just because price. it's expensive. Um, you mean 6 on the price? 6 on the price, sorry. Um, and that goes to 79. So 10 points higher than my last one. 10 points to Gryffindor. <laughs> Captain Gitchin. My scoring may be all over the place. Uh, As it probably yeah. should be. <laughs> the uh, the crisp, I'm gonna go a I'm gonna go an eighth because with the crisp, the the one that I had anyway, the um, the grill added to the, the crispiness. Um, next I will go with the amount of sauce. The amount of sauce I will go in I'll go an eight. Um, it was I, I was I was a fan of the uh, a fan of the amount of sauce as well as like the texture. Oh, of that's the that sauce. perfect eight. Yeah, the perfect eight. Yep. Um, 
I was offended both like the texture and like the amount on there. It was a, like we said, it was a complete opposite of the uh, of the mediums. It there was quite a bit on the bottom, but it, it stuck to the wing really nicely. And you know, with everything, that's kind of what it is to be expected. Because with from the everything wings that we had, uh, we have we've had here on the. I would really enjoy those on tenders. Like oh, that's us. Awesome. Oh yeah, big fan. Uh, stinger. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they are. Um, a bit more barbecue, you know, that really sinks in, but it didn't overtake any of the of the um, sauciness. Um, for the amount of meat, that'll go and eat as well. I've had no problems with the with the amount of meat with no these qualms. two. No qualms. Um, no regrets. The flavor, there was a bit more of a chipotle and heat that I would have liked. I'm, I wanted to have it balanced out a bit more with the Ramones everything wing. I know that's really high up on our list, but that's what I'm going to compare it to. Because um, you, you tasted the honey mustard, you tasted the Cajun, you tasted the barbecue, and the medium. If I'm getting it every wing, everything wing, I'm trying to taste all of those components. And this, unfortunately, did not do that. I'm going to go with seven five for the flavor. Just because it was kind of all over the place, plus that extra added heat. I'm a bitch when it comes to hot wings, as we've you know, seen here. Um, and six five for the flavor. Um, it was it, it was all right for a seventy six total. Um, this was a little tough. Um, because I don't really know what I ate, but I kind of really like it. I'm gonna drop down just a little from the crisp, even with the fact that it was on the grill. I think that was actually still a little crispier than that. I'm gonna go seven five. Meat, I will go up. That's an eight five. Much better wing than I had the first time around. Sauce, I would go nine five. That is what I would really like, especially. They grilled that. They were, they were able to keep the amount of sauce. I think a lot of the issues with the char, Gary, is the barbecue used, it seems like they have a very sugary style barbecue, so that sugar usually catches quick. So that's probably why you had such an, an uneven char in a lot of this, if you had certain stuff in different areas. But I very much so enjoyed what they did with the sauce. Um, I'm going to go eight five with flavor. I don't truthfully know what I ate. I can definitely pick out the Carolina Gold. I can pick out that that, that Chipotle run. Um, there might have been a little Cajun in there. I didn't really notice any of the medium, but like there was a nice amount of kind of everything. Um, so it stands true to the name. This one is a little higher in terms of what you're paying. Um, I, I'm probably gonna give that like a six five. Like I'd pay for it, but like it's 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 expensive. Uh, I'll come in with the first run over 80 of the day. I'll give it an 81. Um, what do you guys say we go on to the last one of this episode? Yeah. And Ryan, I don't think you're necessarily thrilled about this. You already got a little beat up in everything with the What's chipotle. This, this is a spicy chipotle, I think it was under. Looks like they gave us more than 10. I'm not upset. It almost looks like one of those There's a, like a glaze on it. That Ryan doesn't like. It's not a paste, but it's like... Oh. That's really good. Yeah, They're about to slap the thing like, God damn, that's good. Yeah, that's delicious. Oh. On its own, it's good. Mixed with That's everything really else, good. not my style. Fuck. That is really good. I'm going to get out of pocket here and say that is the best Chipotle wing I have ever had on the show. We got a couple. They usually kind of fall flat. Like it's usually not flavorful and that spicy. Yeah, it was probably. Right, serve us off. Sure. The crisp. This one wasn't very crispy. That'll go like a seven. Um, the amount of meat, no gripes there. Eight. Perfect eight for me. Um, the OG Chipotle. Yeah. Right. My goodness, what a swallow that was. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> the 
Baby uh, Tomlins. It's not who's Baby Walrus, it's what's Baby Walrus. Mm. Um, Mono Sauce. That's kind of what it, what is to be expected. <laughs> oh, Thank you. Uh, what is to be expected out of a uh, spicy Chipotle? I'll go with A for there. And the flavor, it's really, really good on its own. It has like that smoky plus, bless you. Thank you. It has the smokiness plus the Chipotle. It has like a, it has that kick. Um, I'll go with A5 for the flavor. And um, I'll go up to a 7 for the price because I would pay for that again. 77. I'm a fan. By itself, like with that smokiness, oh, you can actually get the smokiness of the Chipotle. It puts it over. It was just mixed with everything else. It just didn't. It, yeah. It um, less wing. It's one of those things that, like, like I, I've said in the past, and like for Ryan to compliment a Chipotle wing, I think it's a huge thing. It's either it's either done to an extreme and it kicks your ass, or it's never done properly. Yeah, I think this was like yeah. the special version. Like, yeah. it's an acquired <laughs> taste. For sure, an acquired taste. Um, I'm gonna go seven on the crisp wing. It's by far the least crispy of all these. We'll go back to an eight five on the meat. Good wing. I'm gonna go with a ten on the sauce. It's not my normal preferred sauce. It's a little watery, but I honestly, when you, whenever you get like a chipotle, you almost get either a barbecue or yeah. you get a dry rub, and that is something I've never had, and I think it did it perfectly. Um, I'm gonna go eight five on the flavor. I really like that flavor. My mouth feels like it got a nice warm hug. It's a little warm, but it's not like killing me. Um, I would pay for that. I'd go with an eight. Like I'm kind of impressed. That's an eighty-four for me. Um, <clears throat> crisp about a six. Uh, like we said, at least crispy. Meat got to stick with an eight. Both of them, like everything's pretty much been the same size. Sauce. I'm kind of on a different spectrum from Kyle when it comes to sauce, only because. For me to get the flavor that I wanted, I had to dip it in the bottom. Um, the first wing I had didn't have much kick to it. I got the kick when I finally dipped it in the bottom of the sauce, so I'm going to go with a 6.5 on the sauce. Flavor, I'll go with an 8.5. I enjoyed the flavor. <clears throat> and then I'm going to go probably with an 8 on the price because um, I do enjoy these wings as a flavor. And uh, it ends up being a 74. Let's say right now, we're going to average about like a 78 on that one. Uh, unfortunately, like they're not bad wings, but they're not... Where they were really scored, everybody has jerked these guys off that I've ever seen online. Um, they might be, because we did travel, they might be better dude, but I mean, like, in-house. It's, but not, even price, price it's not even necessarily the, really the crisp that's killing them, and I think a lot of people glow about the fact that they have 49 cent wing night. If I paid 49 cents per wing night, sure. yeah, no, these Market, are all getting yeah. great grades. Um, it's not that they're bad flavors, but it's not that they're great flavors. Yeah, they're just, they're there. Captain Cajun? Yeah, the price is what kind of two bucks a wing. That's that's a bit much. Who do you think you are, OG Jolie? You know, Press yourself, yourself out of the uh, group here. Try to get some full cups of liquor here, OG Jolie. Oh. OG Jolie. There we go. Um, the OG campingly. <laughs> P I Z Z two forty three. At all social media, yeah, except for Twitch, Black Rock Joe. <laughs> yeah, right. Ah, shoot it, my hand. Um, what else do I got here? Oh, shout out to <laughs> Jolie. I posted this wonderful shirt because I got some merch from Veterans Minimum for free. And I said thank you, and then Jolie commented on the story. Oh, well, uh, here comes the obligatory shout out on uh, the podcast. Veterans so, so Minimum. <laughs> shout out to Veterans Minimum Podcast for the free merch. And they're, Nick, the Lamp Show has just been killing it in general. Good guy. Um, the... Oh, Fantasy Beasts and where to find them? It's going to come back this week, finally. Four-week yeah. hiatus. Hey. It's about time. I'm getting somewhat of a life back in order. So. We're back, baby. Total talk over you know, on our uh, wonderful website. The website that is? Tiki Tribe TV Pro dot Squarespace dot com. <clears throat> Beautiful. Um, yeah, I think that's all I got this week. I don't have anything. Shout out to the rest of our shows. Uh, halt, who goes there? There's a draft in here. There's a draft in the text message thread too. Because nobody responded about the next time we're going to record. Um, <laughs> very, oh, very open and breezy. Uh, shout out to hopefully starting to put together uh, Nickel City Para Crypto Pod. Shit, maybe we'll record one of those up at Rushford. Who knows? Maybe we'll have a ghost experience up at Rushford. Um, 
<laughs> I was gonna say, we just, you know, the Scott Hall? That's not very. Yeah, that's exactly well, what nope, it is. Nope, that would be very no, nice. No, it definitely is. <laughs> He's ghost like now. Um, shout out to our sponsors Kyle at Chicken Dippin', uh, Nikki, two, 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 two scoops. We we'll have to go see Nikki tonight, you know? There you go. Nice. Jeanette at Sunday. The Harapy Sessions Buffalo. She's going camping with us. Yeah. Nice. Excited about that. Uh. <laughs> Who am I now, if we sh shave someone's head, somebody can actually do it. Can, can actually correct it. <laughs> Unlike me giving being being given a set of clippers and just shaving your head at the middle of camp. That happened last year. That's great. I'm missing a sponsor, aren't I? Angel wing sauce. Angel wing sauce. I think I'm still missing one more. Well, if I missed you, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> just go back to the last episode. Yeah, if, I, you I, know I, who follows us, and you know that other. Shout out to George Shager. Hope he's doing well. Shout out to Kyle. Glad to announce finally we are going to be part of Wing Fest again this upcoming year. So stop on out. If you're not in the area and you're following us, liking us, all of that, jump on, come grab a picture with you boys at the stand this year. We're gonna have even better stickers this year. We're gonna have some fun shit. Maybe even have koozies. Who knows? My wife will be excited about that. She loves koozies. We know she'll be rocking a team flat koozie if we can, if we're approved. If not, we'll still have those NWO Absolutely. New Wing Order shirts on lock. Hell yeah. But until next time, guys. Gary! You can keep on spreading those wings. Just Payne's not going to, but we will spread your legs. Peace out, guys.